Urinary symptoms related to a benign enlarged prostate, or BPH, is exceedingly common. It increases in incidence as men progress through life. What causes it and why you need to be aware of it is the subject of this discussion today. Please, if you get value from this video, think about subscribing, give the video a thumbs up. And as always, please, if you have comments or a story to share, leave it in the comment section down below. Hi, my name is Dr. Charles Chabert. I'm a urologist and director of the Prostate Clinic located on the Gold Coast in Australia. I wanted to start uh, today's video really by an introduction as to what is BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. In essence, this is the non-cancerous benign growth that affects the prostate as men progress through life. It affects around 50% of men between the ages of 50 to 60, and in men in their 80s can affect around 80% of men. In essence, it is an overgrowth of the central part of the prostate. To back up a second, the prostate is part of the male reproductive system. In essence, it's shaped a little bit like a donut and it sits underneath the bladder. The outlet pipe of the bladder, the urethra, passes through the middle of the prostate. As the prostate grows, there is gradual progress progressive occlusion and a bit like a clamp on a pipe, the bladder becomes gradually obstructed. This leads to urinary symptoms, and men can have symptoms such as a weakened flow, it can be a little bit intermittent or a bit start-stop, and it can take men a lot longer to pee. Sometimes they feel like they haven't emptied their bladder properly, and with time, as the bladder gets thicker and stiffer as men progress through life and that obstruction has been there for a longer period of time, men begin to notice that they gradually get up more at night to pee. Sometimes they go more frequently in the day and they rush to the toilet. Many men think this is part of the natural aging process. And whilst that is true, men don't need to suffer this in silence. And there are many things that can be done to improve the quality of life that men experience related to this exceedingly common benign condition. So why do men get BPH? Well, the first factor really is that it is related to age. Younger men do not have issues with the benign enlargement, but as men progress through life, the prostate gradually grows, and that's where symptoms begin to cause a problem. It is thought that in part, it's the cumulative exposure to the male hormone, which is testosterone. You may be aware that testosterone increases when boys hit puberty, and that increase in testosterone continues for the majority of a man's adult life. And although testosterone levels can gradually decline as we progress through life, it's the cumulative exposure to this male hormone that in essence causes hyperplasia. Hyperplasia basically means that the cells in a certain area of the prostate multiply so that as we get older, we have more cells within the prostate, which obviously take up more space and cause obstruction. Now, the second potential cause for why men develop BPH is an increase in what's called DHT or dihydrotestosterone. Now, testosterone is converted to this chemical called DHT, which is the active form of testosterone. And increases in DHT can cause proliferation or cell division and multiplication, which ultimately results in obstruction to the bladder. Now, it's this pathway that is used by some drugs, which are in the family of 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. These, this class of drug basically prevents testosterone from being converted into DHT. And when men take these drugs for around six months or more, we can see approximately a 20 to 30% reduction in the size of their prostate. Okay, the third potential cause for benign enlargement in the prostate is family history. So for example, if your dad or uncle or grandfather had problems with a big prostate at an earlier age, it's more probable that you, if you're a man, could also experience prostate problems at an earlier age than many other men. 
The fourth factor really is like comes down to lifestyle factors. And you may have heard a lot of discussion really about metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a condition that is becoming more and more common in Western society, and it appears to be related to the diet that we consume. In essence, metabolic syndrome is associated with an increase in body mass index, so we're carrying more weight. That can result in higher cholesterol levels, higher blood pressure levels, and in our inability to regulate sugar more tightly, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. So there is an association with lifestyle factors and the development of BPH. The final aspect really relates to inflammation. And there's a lot of noise in the medical world now about the role that chronic inflammatory conditions can play in the development of a variety of different uh, conditions throughout the body. But it is thought also that this low-grade ongoing inflammation that can irritate various structures within the body can play a role to the development of BPH. Obviously, if we know why and how things develop as we progress through life, it gives us the opportunity to try to mitigate those risks, to try to reduce the probability that we have these issues so that we can improve the quality of our lives. As always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section down below. Until the next video, please take care of your prostate.